Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Well, folks, I started this back in October of 2007. 3,900 shows, and I can say without a doubt, this is my most frustrating show that I've had since I've been doing this whole thing. I posted a chart up here of the July soybeans that we bought last Thursday. That's Thursday, Friday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, seven days ago, four days ago, five days ago, or f uh, three days ago, we had a, a really nice move up 60 cents. And the market, uh, I, with a re major report coming in here today, I said several times to the people, and this is what really upsets me, I kept telling them in the videos, no matter what you do, do not sell these beans, do not sell these beans. And then when they got up to the 382 retracement, I said, well, we got a crop report coming out. And so let's take profits and buy them back on the crop report. And boys and girls, there was no buying today other than straight up. They were up about 40, 50 cents. I know we took three grand out of it, but we left four grand on the table. And let me tell you something. Of all the interviews that Mark ever did here, those were the things that frustrated traders the most was fear of missing out after you picked out something that you really liked and let it go. And the, the main thing that they said is what you've got to do is just shake the doggone thing off. And believe me, they didn't use the words like doggone. They used words that we can't say here because of the Federal Communications Commissions and the woke uh, establishment, whatever in the heck that is. But anyway, there's going to be a more time to do this, and it's going to be a lot of fun, so just bear with me. I want to bring out another one. And this is just a masterful day here. Let me show you an example of a chart here, folks, that we've been waiting to buy uh, for a very long time. This is the natural gas. I'll go through this. The reason why I'm going through these, folks, is two reasons. One, you think that I don't have frustrations? Are you kidding me? Look at this. Look at this low that you see this low right down in here. Guess where our buy was? <laughs> we missed it by a dollar and a half. Now, this is just getting started, so I'm not concerned about this. I'll, we'll be able to get back into this, you know, without any trouble. But I've been posting this every day here all week long and five days in a row. And here we are on the fifth day. And remember, we're just going to go through this to see where we are. This is where we're looking at. Now, do you remember another chart that we did on this natural gas way back here? And we'll get up here to let you see this one. This is the old WD GAN stuff, low to high, high to low, showing you the market repeating itself up and down. There it was, and get what today was, either the 31st or the 1st. So we are still get a chance because it only jumped about 15 or $18, and we're looking for it to go to, you know, 4 or 5 In other words, it's $2.04 $2 is where our buy was. And then we're still we're still going to wait. You know, I'm not frustrated about that one. I am more frustrated about the beans because I said several times, hold this. This might be the, the big casino, and I think it's going to be. Now, what I'm going to do here for my folks here at 24-7, Fibonacci 24-7, I'm going to tell a little story here. I've told it before, but I'm going to spend some more time about it today because I talked to Byron Tucker yesterday about it, and he says, you got to tell them the whole thing because you're only telling them parts of uh, what was happening. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to uh, 1987 is where we're going to go. Let me get this up here, and we'll be able to tell. Hold it. We have a caller coming in. Is that it? Oops. Maybe I. Broadsword to Danny Boy. Broadsword to Danny Boy. Can you hear me, Danny Boy? The chicken is in the pot. The eagle has landed. Something is wrong. Okay, good. You can hear me. Everything's cool. We're all right then. So let's get over here. I'm going to bring up the chart here for 19. 
uh, 80, uh, 1983, folks. I want you to see this was this was the bear market. You can see the bear market on the way down. There, was, this is a monthly chart now. This was May of 1983. We were sitting in Jack Waldock, Jack Waldock, and Barry Barry Lynn, Lynn Waldock, the the firm of Lynn and Waldock, and they were all there, about five or six of us. And one of the board of trade guys came over to see me because he had heard that I had made some money in soybeans when I was at Drexel Burnham and, and I did, but that doesn't make any difference. Anyway, he said, uh, I need to make a million dollars in the next three months. And I said, well, how much you got? He said, I got about a hundred grand. And I said, man, I said, you're asking for a lot. He said, look, he said, I'm young. He said, I know I get it back. He said, but I really want to try to do this. He said, can you show me how to do it? And I said, well, I can show you how to do it, but the market might not like what you're doing and you might lose all your money. He said, I can lose a hundred grand. He said, I'm not worried about that. He said, I'm only, I think he was 27 at the time. And uh, Byron said to, to tell the, 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 sto the true story behind it because uh, this guy went on to be, you know, quite famous. But let me show you. Here's all I told him, okay? This is what I told him. And I'm, this, is, this, is, this is where we are now, okay? Now, if you can see, oh, let's get these up here so you can see it. This is what I told him. I said, the only way you can do this, and this was not mine, folks. John Hill taught me this. Okay, he says, when you have a runaway market like this, he said, what you do, and this is an hourly chart, and he said, you got to be, he said, if you're going to make that kind of money, you got to be focused all the time. Now, we got 24 hour markets, so I don't know if we could do that, but here's what you're looking at. You see the market stops here for several hours and then breaks out, stops here for several hours and then breaks out, stops here for several and break out. Folks, the, the November, November beans are up into the stratosphere today. This market has moved five thousand dollars in a week. Yeah, I know we took three thousand of it, but I'm, I'm upset with myself because I thought that, you know, we'd be able to buy it back in a pullback and then. But this is what I'm going to start doing now. Every day that I do my videos, I'm going to be watching for these dynamite triangles because, folks, with the market coming out of here like now, and the report wasn't that it wasn't that much. This is basically weather related. The report was, you know, not too much. So there's there's double action here. You got a relatively um, neutral report that doesn't hurt the market. Plus you got buying coming in because of cold weather that's all across the Midwest. And so this is what we got to be paying attention to. So I I have to I will tell you one thing. I will not touch soybeans for about three or four days until I get a really nice pattern. We might get a 382 pullback, but that's what we're going to do. So all I showed him is I said this is what you need to do. And that, and folks, I wish I had saved the 83 chart uh, because that's exactly pretty much what it did. He missed the last dollar and a half in beans because they went quite a bit higher. But when he got to his, his goal, he said, "That's it," and he and he stopped. And uh, so anyway, that's that's what we're watching here. And I I'm not saying we're going to make a million bucks. I just think this is the way to handle a breakaway market to the upside. And I'm going to start looking at that. But uh, a little thing like a move like today in beans was I knew it was going to be bullish. I mean, I could I could sense it. The market was not selling off at all. And uh, that tells you that somebody was either trapped on the short side or something. But you can imagine the funds coming in now. So they're going to be, you know, buying for a while. So it's going to be, you know, really interesting, you know, how those folks uh, finish it up. So we'll take a little break here and we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the um, November beans up here. You'll see the explosion that it went to the upside. Someone asked the question, what do I do now? Well, I don't know where this top is. But what I have to figure out is what the next correction is going to be. And that's what I want to do because I don't want to you know, risk very much in here because we could, we could have a pullback all the way back into here because this – if this stops, you know, the July beans actually stopped. The high in July beans today was actually a perfect 61% retracement to the whole contract high. So whether that means anything or not, I don't know. So I can't do anything in the beans today. The only thing, the only other trades that we were watching uh, was crude oil. Uh, we ended up having a profit in crude that turned out to be a loss. We lost uh, $600 in crude because it didn't go, it went above our 74 uh, 67, um, 57 um, sell price, and then uh, the other one that we were looking at that, that we were finally able to get in, which was the um, a, the S and P 500. We got in in that at 20, excuse me, 40, 40, 40, 60. Let's try it again, Larry. <laughs> I'm getting these things all messed up, so bear with me here one second, and we'll we'll go from here. Hold on, and I'll be right back with you. I've got to double check something here. Uh, we, 40, 4108 is where we got in on the uh, S&P. It's trading at 4116.75 right now, and our stop was uh, 30 points on that because this is a huge, a huge pattern that we're looking. I'm going to bring it up here so you can see it. Um, it's uh, one that we've been keeping our eye on for quite some time. But let me get it here. I put it here somewhere, and I think, I hope this is it. I'm pretty sure it is. Nope. Let's get up here and uh, hold on one second and uh, just a second. Sarah, I smell something burning. Oh, okay. Sorry. All right. Just a second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hold on a second. Uh, get on here. Just a I'm trying to do too many things. Here it is. Here it is. Hold on. Here's the E-mini S&P that we looked at last week, and you can see that we are uh, right near the uh, – 78% level right up here, and what we were looking at was the ABCD coming in at uh, 4108, and our stop is at 4148. Uh, you have to risk 30 handles in a move like this because it is really, really wild. So we got to pay very, very close attention to that. 
uh, as we look at this. And, it, and this is a Friday in an up week, and so there's probably, there might be a little bit of profit taking on the close, but who knows. I did want to bring up, uh, this is the NASDAQ, because uh, we've had a, a big move in the NASDAQ, and we've gone higher here uh, by about 30 points, which is, in that market, is uh, it's peanuts, but you can see there is the ABCD structure. And what's interesting is, is if you look at the low on the A point to the high on the B point and look at the low on the C point and the high on the D point, you're really close to being absolute perfect as far as the time period uh, where it should be. In other words, the time up in the move should be equal to the time up in the move in the AB leg. Time up in the CD leg should be the same. So we're close. We've got time and price together, but whether that market turns or not, no, no one knows that, so that's why you have to use a stop and pay close attention to it. This market has been telegraphing extreme strength here for a very, very long time. I'm going to show you a chart that we posted three, about three days ago when the market was running like a striped deer through uh, the Serengeti Plains. You'll notice how on the first side over here, the, the, the S&P will not retrace at all. Here's the same time frame in the Dow Jones, and yet it did the same thing, telling you extreme strength on the outside. So that's why, you know, we got to watch these things for, uh, you know, where we're going to be going. So anyway, let's get a couple others in that we need to talk about. We covered the natural gas. And let's take a look at silver because had silver and gold made some uh, interesting targets today, 786 again in the gold. But here's an interesting one in the silver. Now, this was done earlier this morning when the silver hit uh, – uh, 2424, and it went up to 2432. I said, and I think it's backed off a little bit, but you had a, several ABCD patterns uh, with double ABCDs up here at the 1.618, and of course, into a news announcement. You know, they'll, sometimes they'll go through it. So watch silver and gold today, folks, because they they should be very strong given the situation that the uh, um, everybody's talking about. The, the whole world is everything's good and no more problems anywhere. Well, boys and girls, all you have to do, you don't have to be a rocket science to do this. Let me show you what I did, okay? I went through the major banks, okay, all the major banks, all right? Now, this this is the most major of the banks, and this is J.P. Morgan, okay? There's no bank, to me, is not run any better than, than uh, J.P. Morgan. I'm not a big fan of uh, Jamie Dimon. I don't know him. He doesn't know me. But the, the stock is good, and they have good, great service. Look at the pullback. You see, the pullback was nothing. Most of these bank stocks, especially the small ones, you know, they, they took out these lows real easy. Even Bank America took out those lows. Citibank almost made a double bottom. So there's been some trouble there in River City. Now, with the market up this much today, several hundred points and everything, and if, and if the market, you know, would, would uh, maybe slow down just a little bit today, what would happen is this is telling you that something's not right in the banks. I've always said all along, by golly, you got to pay really close attention to what these guys at the banks are doing. Now, stop and think. If you're an inside one of those one of those banks, let's say Mellon Bank, which is one of the better ones too, but let's say Bank of America or Citibank or um, – the KRB, the uh, you know, the regional banks for the Dow Jones, for the Nasdaq, uh, all of those, uh, you would think they would say, well, gee, our price is really cheap now. We should buy it. They're not rallying, folks. You know, if the, they start to rally, yes, this market could take off like a stripe of deer and just never look back. And it might do that later today or even next week. But I'm watching what those banks do because if they don't rally. This is nothing more than, a, you know, completing an ABCD pattern that is uh, has potential to be, you know, quite a bit. So right now it looks all, you know, nice hunky-dory, but it might not always be that way as you go through looking at some of these things. But uh, my guess is we're probably going to go straight up, but we're going to find out. That's for sure. It doesn't uh, seem like it wants to back off very much. That's the absolute truth, isn't it? 877-927-664. We're going to take a break here in just a minute, but I wanted to cover cover one other thing. And I'm going to look at these bank stocks for you when we get back because I think it's that important. I really do. But I did want to show you this, and this is really important because we are back to that same old 382 level 
Oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. That same old uh, 382 level in the NASDAQ up there at that uh, 12,320. And uh, we just expanded right up there. And there's where we are again right there. So we're going to find out what happens to this as we move on to the next one. If you do have any questions, folks, it's 877-927-6648. And someone asked a question today, uh, would I be a buyer of the bank stocks? And they're, I know they're cheap and everything, and you could buy them here with a really close stop. But frankly, uh, I don't see many patterns that tell you they should be bought. To me, it looks like something's out there. Remember what they call a group of black swans. It's called a bank, a bank of swans. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, it's not all bad. I mean, I'm just frustrated on the, the beans and the natural gas, but that'll come to us eventually. But I did want to show you the gold. We showed you the silver, the picture of silver up to double to 1.618 with three drive to a top we had gold at the 78 percent level and of course they've sold off a little bit but let's go to the banks okay folks because that's where uh, i think we should and i'm doing this for your your benefit as well as mine we're going to start out we're going to do and these are up to date folks i just updated them so you can see you know with the market going a lot to the upside all i'm saying is as you look at these things you have to ask yourself, why aren't the people that are in this bank, the guys that are the stockholders, seeing that this is a, you know, a, a wonderful sale, clearance sale. You can get these things at dirt cheap. <laughs> They're not buying it. 
you know, that's the main thing. We're going to do one after another until we look at one. Here's Citibank. And, of course, Citibank uh, today went right up to the uh, – we're going to find out what it's got here but this week. But the silver uh, – Citibank has rallied off the bottom. They're right up at the 382 right in here. Okay, and then we're going to go to the next one. And this is the only way I can tell whether there's buying coming in here. And here's Goldman Sachs. We'll get it up here and take a quick look at it. And, uh, you know, if you had done this at the top when they when Bartolioni was showing us that, uh, you know, that was a big 3A2 there in the NASDAQ banking index, it would have been quite helpful. So that's why I'm doing it for you now. I've already done J.P. Morgan. Uh, did I do J.P. Morgan? No, let's do it because you'll be able to see it. It's not – I think it hit the 382 uh, this morning because I heard the beep go off once, but then it didn't go off twice, so I figured it was just backing off. But that's just bouncing a little bit. That's what we probably would call a, a dead cat bounce. The next one is the really important one. You see, this is the, the regional – this is up to date. You, you're not going to – watch this. This would scare the heck out of me. I really would. This is the one that scared me. This is the one that uh, Bart gave us, okay? Remember, we had a beautiful Gartley at, the, at, at the, of this level, 382 on the weekly, okay? And boom, look what happened. And look at the bounce today. It's down with the Dow Jones up several hundred points and the S&P up 50 or something. Hey, low operator. That's not good. Now, here's one of the better banks in the world. This is J, uh, <laughs> J.P. Morgan's best friend was Andrew Mellon and there's Mr. Mellon right here and you'll see here there's where you right up to the 382 today and it's the same thing I hit it right on the money that's one of the better banks and we have two more to go uh, Morgan Stanley Jim Gorman's great little company he's a wonderful uh, director I happen to know him and he is a prince among princes okay there's where you are right there Nice little bounce again, you know, lower on the week, but it's still bouncing a little bit. But uh, if these things take off, uh, this market will go uh, absolutely to the moon. Now, here's one that's having a really difficult time bouncing because uh, it's in a coffin over there in Plotter's Field out there on uh, one of the islands there, Rikers Island, I guess, or whatever island it is, Fisher Island. And uh, they, uh, you can see it went uh, tapioca, the uh, signature bank. And I think this next one, yeah, this was the uh, uh, Silicon Bank. It did exactly the same thing. And uh, what we have to worry about is if there may be a few others out there, but why aren't these people, you know, buying the stocks? You know, that's what, that's what really concerns me is the fact that they're not really doing that. And it's really, uh, really sort of a, a mystery to me. But, you know, like I said before, lots of mysteries uh, going on. Uh, another one that very interesting, and remember we've been watching this for quite some time, and this is this one's not up to date, but I saw the price of the stock this morning, and we did make a higher high than yesterday. Okay, so if we can get Apple above like 164, that would break this cycle to the, in other words, just 135 pattern would be broken. Because someone tell me the high of the day in Apple today, someone be so kind uh, to do that there in the Tiger Den, I would like to know what the high on Mr. Appel, who's down by the well. If you could give me that, I would uh, really appreciate it uh, very much because I'm not going to be able to uh, get it right now. And so that's what we're paying attention to here. So as we look on, well, that, what's the other one we got to look at? It's uh, The high was 164. See, it's got to get above 165. So it's right near the high of the day right now. Okay, that's good. If it can get above 165, it will break that 135 pattern, and this thing could be, you know, off to the races, uh, you know, in a big way. That's the main thing that we have to focus on. Okay, so no guests today. So if you got any questions, it's 877-927-6648. I wanted to bring the chart of uh, July beans up here today because it's. Uh, I don't have the daily, but I've got the uh, intraday here. Because the high that we made today, okay, this high that we made right here, was an exact 61% retracement of the contract high of the whole contract. So that means that maybe this is just the, the last hurrah, that this report you know, brought everybody in, and we'll see, and weather, whatever related it is. But if we close above there, heaven help 
any fury where anybody is, uh, you know, going to uh, <laughs> get into that puppy because it's going to be very, very difficult to get around it, okay? So just a few things that we're paying attention to today. Now, I wanted to bring out one other thing, and that's about this uh, natural gas because I don't believe – I, I really believe that we've got one more chance. It's only rallied a little bit today. Maybe, you know, people were trying to, uh, you know, get in front of something. I don't know, but you can see we, we've made three eight twos all the way down. This is the first time we've had a really good rally now, and we've had these before. You can see it right here. We had a really good rally before and then went down. So if you get one more rally up and then one more move down to that 204, um, I'll be really interested in it because I'm going to wait for that price. And if it doesn't get it, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Guadalajara and have me a nice uh, margarita on Friday afternoon with a little salt on the side. And that's about it. <laughs> hold, hold on, folks. Uh, someone asked a question about uh, one of the things that we're paying attention to, and that are the hogs. I'll get the hog chart up here. Uh, we're very bullish hogs. They uh, haven't done very much yet, but they're still in the prop, uh, profitable mode. One second, I've got to get the, the chart up. And we've got a caller from uh, Niagara Falls. Mike, how are you doing? Yeah, hi there. Uh, hi there, uh, Larry. How are you? I'm good, my friend. Uh, you're, you're, you sound tired, too. I'm tired, too. I, I've got some drawdowns on my trade. I'm frustrated. I'm not well, tired. I'm frustrated. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Well, it's a family show, okay? It's rated I PG-13, never seen any bad right? Words. So I can't, I can't uh, shoot, you know, I can't swear in Polish, right? So uh, basically, uh, um, I wanted to talk, you know, tomorrow is April Fool's Day. Yes. Yeah. Anyhow, um, you've been kind of absent on the discussion of cycles. And yes. um, I wanted to, I've, I've been culling on Twitter uh, various characters discussing uh, cycles and stuff. And Monday, April 3rd, uh, there's a guy in Britain who's predicting a 42 trading day trend change in the S&P 500. Uh -huh. How valid is that? I have no clue. I just look at the patterns. And it's the first I, the, the trading time day that, of the new quarter, right? You yeah, know, well, that, so, I, I don't mean, think that. Just go back and look to see how many times April 8th has done anything, and you know, then you'll find something. But I do simple time counts, Mike. That's all yeah. I do. I keep it as simple as possible. That's really what I'm uh, really what I'm doing. Not more than that. Okay. Oh, okay. Hey, we'll be, all right. Take care. You sure? Hey, hey, Mike. Just don't stay with the foundation for the study of cycle stuff. That's good stuff. Okay. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. 
Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I posted a chart of uh, Cocoa, Cocoa. Don't trade it, but it's in the futures group, so I put it out there. Well, the alert went off today, and that was the high of the day. It hit the exact A, B, C, D. Now, I haven't checked it since that time, but the alert that I had on was still on. So that was working pretty good. Now, I wanted to do one other thing today because, you know, sometimes I give information that's pretty good. Other times I give information that is absolutely uh, not good. And the thing that you have to remember is you have to use your own judgment on whether you want to act on it. So I'm just going to show you what the uh, program showed me uh, for our AI program, what might happen to the stock market today. And we certainly got the big up move. Whether we get the big down move is anybody's guess. But if it does, you know, we could end up with a market that closes considerably low the high of the day. And if that does happen, uh, coming into a Friday, that means that Monday may be a very, very uh, nasty day. And remember, folks, anything can happen in these markets. It usually does. The part about that AI intelligence that you want to remember is that it's only good, that the high percentage of the time, it's good in the first three quarters of the day. And we're about halfway through the day right now. So uh, use that with a little grain of salt for sure. So that's uh, primarily what we're looking at. Now, I wanted to um, uh, cover, I covered the cocoa. I had one other one that someone asked me about. Uh, in the futures group, and I'll get that up here in just a second. And that is the coffee. And you'll notice here that we have been in a really, oh, let's get this thing up here. We've been in a really tight trading range in coffee. And uh, remember, if that was the one that, you know, we were going to call as, as a trade of the year, uh, right over here at about 154, if you remember. And it's really gone nowhere during that time. We, we, actually bought it there and then got out of it because it didn't work uh, didn't want to have a losing trade because it started profitably and then we put our stop at break even and went lower that was at 155 if you remember and it's trading a little bit higher than that right now but that's neither uh, that doesn't make any difference of what we're doing here uh, today so I have uh, one one more final question then I want to get on to the rest of the I covered all of the banks so I just want you to pay very very close attention to what those stocks are doing. You want to watch Apple. If it doesn't get above 165, it's still in a 135 sell pattern, okay? And and to do this for yourself, check the banks. Check those banks, the regional banks, the KRE, and uh, watch these other banks. And if, if one of the big banks, like Mellon, uh, JP Morgan, you know, if they start having trouble, then, uh-oh, then there's trouble in River City. We're going to try to keep you alert to that. But I don't, uh, you know, I can't make any promises because guess what? Promises can be made, okay? Let's take a look here. Now, this is a blown up side of silver because we did go a tiny bit higher than this uh, for a short period of time. But this had a really nice uh, pattern up here. 
Uh, we had that double ABCD pattern. We went above it this morning by just a little bit, and that's when gold ran up to the uh, $2,000 mark in and before it dropped 20-some dollars in a matter of about two and a half hours. So these markets are really, really choppy. So as you trade them, make sure that you use a stop because if you don't, you're telling Mr. Market that, hey, I know more than you do. In fact, that is not a good thing to do. Now, because you've been so nice to me today, we're going to take a trip, folks, across the pond to take a look at the German DAX because it's been doing the same thing that we've been doing. Just get up, get up here and take a look at it. Uh-oh, share your screen. Okay, but, oh, that's not right. Hold on. Okay, now I got it. Okay. That's a big 10-4. All right, there's where we are. And you'll see that move up into this area uh, right here. Um, one person uh, yesterday um, actually called me. I forgot about that. I wrote a note here. And he asked me uh, when I was selling gold uh, at Drexel Burnham uh, Lambert, how did we do that? Well, gold had just been allowed to be held again in 1972. And that's when it first started trading on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange and in the COMEX. All right. Now, people were trading it through coin stores for many, many years. They just they didn't pay any attention to those laws because, you know, they wanted to own coins and they were numismatic. And so they bought them. So we had Cougar Rands, Maple Leafs and Mexican 50, uh, 50 peso Mexican coins and um, the uh, Austrian Krona. These were all beautiful coins. They were sold. Uh, I bought them through uh, either Leroy Linhardt at American Coin or uh, Bob Gilmillion at Wilshire Coin. And then people would you know, pay cash for them or checks, whatever they did. And then my secretary or myself would deliver the coins. And, you know, we didn't trade. We didn't buy. It was not one or two coins. These people were buying 10, 20, 30, 100. Uh, Gene Roddenberry bought 500 of them back. Uh, this was in 77. And uh, those I don't know whatever happened to those. But those were worth a lot of money because he only paid like I think he paid a hundred and. 170, 180, or something like that. Well, maybe a little bit higher than that. But it was uh, it was really amazing. And then, if you ever seen my picture, uh, the the photo of uh, the the main things that you know that are important to me, the rules of trading, and on the on that the little pedestal that's there underneath the pedestal is a stack of uh, of cougar ants. Well, every time I was doing anything during the day to sell those, I had cougar ants on my desk, you know, all the time. And uh, so it was, uh, you know, it was back in the old days. <laughs> I believe that was 40 years ago. Hard to believe. So anyway, uh, I've got a little bit more time here. So if you have any questions, I, I know my uh, too late now. Al said the line is just absolutely uh, clogged up. Uh, Mike uh, from Niagara, Yaksimash uh, Dobje, our my good Polish buddy. He is uh, living in Poland now. And uh, loving it there, and of course, spring will be coming. But if you get a chance to call in, you can certainly do that next week. Uh, our guest on Monday, I believe, is going to be Norm. No, it's not warm. Well, that's a new area, so I have to wait and see what that was. Oh, we got the. Oh, my God. I have one other announcement, folks. Uh, this is going to be my very last uh, show this week. I'm wrapping it up here at TFNN after 17 years. And 3,900 shows. And that's what we call, folks, an April Fool's joke. Ho, ho, ho. Folks, I'll tell you what. This is what keeps me doing what I do because I love this stuff so doggone much. This is my golf game, my tennis game, whatever it happens to be. I just uh, I get beat up once in a while, but I always come back pretty good. I get frustrated just like you do, especially on today's where I miss the low and didn't you know didn't do what I wanted to do in the soybeans you know the the gold acted well you know the uh, uh, what else what other one do you have that's only oh well the s and p is still underwater a little bit but uh, those are the ones that uh, you know we were really looking for forward to doing today and they they seem to be moving all right so that's what we're paying attention to so far this morning and not too much going on here well, we got to almost got to almost break even now in our S and P at uh, 4108. We're at 4112, and we're seeming to be moving in the right direction anyway. So, just be careful, folks, if you're long this puppy, because there's some stuff up here that is flat out scary. I mean, it really is. And let me just show you one right here because it was very interesting. Here, you're going to see here. Where is this thing right here? Almost exactly. 
to the 61% retracement. We missed it by a heartbeat. And this is the futures. I don't know if the cash made it or not, but you'll see the 61% retracement. And guess what? The good old Dow Jones Industrial Average. Let's get this up here. And we'll get it here to right there. And we'll bring it to you right now. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, we're going to wind it up that we've had a heck of a week. Uh, stocks have been very, very strong. Selling off a tiny bit here, not doing very much, but we're at some key levels. Uh, all I'm saying is I do not believe this banking crisis is over. It's just beginning. And the fact that they're telling you that everything is okay is scary because they did the same thing in 2007. And by they, I mean the Federal Reserve. Uh, you can see these people come on and they all say the same thing. You know, we, we got a handle on this and all these things. Everything's all right. But they don't know the insides of these banks, folks. Watch the bank stocks. I'm doing that every day. I'm watching to see if they start to rally because if they do, and if they do, we're looking at something incredibly bullish. But this is not the way it looks like by watching the banking stocks. Even J.P. Morgan today is, is bullish as it is. I mean, it's just it's just not right. It's, that stock should be up three, four, or five points, and it's not. So something is not quite kosher in the land of trading, in my opinion. So 
remember, it's not about how much money you make. It's about how much money you don't lose. And that's the real key to this. I've been doing Dave's show the whole week here. I love doing it because I think of him all the time. What a stand-up guy he was. And I know he's missed by a whole lot of people. So uh, I'll continue to do it uh, until I can't do it anymore. But uh, you'd be a big help to me if you called in and asked questions. That makes it a lot easier for me. Uh, you could make something up if you like, but uh, that would really be helpful to me if you could call in and, uh, you know, give me an idea of questions that you might have. And believe me, you think I don't go through the frustrations in trading? Today's my first, most frustrating day of the year so far. <laughs> and this is still early in the year, right? So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless We'll see you on the flip side <clears throat> next week. May God bless.